Hello. Um, this is my second video of the day. Um, I didn't want to leave it off on just learning how to invite your bot, so I've decided to teach you up, uh, teach you how to set up your index.js. So, um, here we have our bot, and basically, we're gonna go to bot, and this is where the token is. So, basically, um, tweet your token like your password, that's what everyone says, because, um, if someone gets your token, they can insert it into a code, and, uh, basically control your bot and do a lot of harmful things. So, what I recommend is not to reveal this token to anyone. Um, I'm gonna reveal it because, first of all, I don't care about this bot, and second of all, I'm probably gonna regenerate it after this video, so it's gonna be useless. So, let me copy this. And let's start, um, setting up our bot, shall we? So, let's go to Visual Studio. So, this was my test bot from yesterday. So, let me open up the current one, test bot 2. So, that's the one that we are going to be doing right now. So, let's wait for this. Okay, so now we are in our test bot 2, and let's really quickly define some crucial um, variables. So, the first one that we are going to be defining is, um, we're going to type in const config is equal to require, oops, require, and then the name. So, we're trying to require config, so dot slash config dot js, we know, dot json. So, um, let's actually create our config dot json. So let's create that. Let's call it config.json. And now we are going to set up our config.json. So we are going to open up some brackets. We're going to do token. Um, and then and then we are also going to set up our prefix here. So I'm pretty sure you might have to yeah, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put quotation marks around this, so let me just do that really quick. There we go. Okay, so now this is where we're going to paste in our token, and this is where we are going to define our prefix. So let's make our prefix this, because that's probably my favorite one. I don't know why. I just, um, I just really like typing that before a command. So, um, now we've created our config and we have required it. So now, um, in the last episode, we downloaded discord.js. Um, if you are new to the series, you download discord.js by opening a terminal, new terminal, and then typing in npm i, so npm space i, space discord.js. Um, so I'm not going to actually hit enter, I'm just going to show you how to type this just in case. Um, okay, yeah, typed in, it just has to load. And that's what you're going to type in, you're going to hit enter, and it should, um, basically, um, download it. So, now let's define, um, and require our Discord variable. Discord is equal to require, and then discord.js. So that's what we installed in the previous episode. And we're going to create a const client, or you can name this bot, but if you're following this um, this tutorial, then um, name it client so that you don't have to change anything. Discord.client. Wait, why? Why did it just do that? Client, and then parentheses, and then semicolon. So now we've officially defined our variables. So now let's do client.on, and then quotation marks ready. And then now we're going to async this, and parentheses, arrow sign, we're going to open up some brackets, console, and we're going to console.log our ready message that it will send when we are ready. So, I am online, um, and ready to listen to commands. I, I have no idea. Just put whatever you want. Um, 
And now, um, let's hit enter, client dot on, and now we are going to define our message, equal, no, async, and then parentheses, message, um, most tutorials use message spelt like this, but, um, in my tutorials I'm going to use msg, because that's how I learned it, um, and I think it's just easier to type, but just keep in mind, if you're using other tutorials and it says, for example, message is not defined, um, just, just switch everything to msg instead of message, or, or you can just make this as message, and then whenever I say do, um, so for example, if it's message.channel, oops, message. this is so annoying, that autocorrect, message, message.channel, you know what, I'm not, I'm not even going to try it. Okay, well, well, anyways, you got the point. Um, if you want to use MSG or message. So, now, let's get rid of the space. And now, we're going to do those arrows. And now, we are going to open up brackets. Um, if message.author, again, um, this is where you will in implement your M-E-S-S-A-G or MSG message.author.bot and this is basically telling the bot that if um if oops let me do something right here comma supposed to be outside yeah so if the message author is a bot then we're just going to ignore that and now if message not guild so this is telling the bot that if a user is not in a guild then just ignore them so now let's um define our prefix prefix and we are going to fetch this from our config file so config dot prefix so we're going to be calling our prefix variable that we defined in config and now let's just do a semicolon so now after that we're going to do if um and then explanation point message dot content dot to low nope not to local lowercase and then parentheses dot starts with and then prefix so we're basically saying that um, if this does not start with our prefix then we're just going to ignore it so let's ignore it um, and now let's define our args equals message dot content dot split and then we are going to put parentheses and, and then quotation marks and add space. And now we're going to define our command. Um, and we are actually going to be doing our command handlers in the first episode because I don't really see a point in in delaying it any further. Because then you're going to have to um, delete your current code. So just follow along with my code so far. Okay, and now parentheses, semicolon. Um, and now we are going to try. What we're going to try is we are going to um, write the code for our, our command handler. So basically, what this code is saying is um, it is basically saying that whatever the command name is, um, we are going to basically use that as a command. So, for example, if I was to... So, let, so let me create a command file, because we are going to be fetching it from that. Let's create a um, a file here, and let's call it ping.js, which is um, the command that we're going to be um, making. Um, so basically, whenever someone types in the prefix and then the name of the file, um, excluding the .js part, it will run the code. So, um, yeah, so now equals require, and this is where the commands folder, so your folder needs to be named commands. Yeah, let me rename this to commands. Commands. Okay, make sure that's spelled correctly. Um, and then dot slash commands, and then slash, and then um, our variable is going to be the, oh, let's actually add backtick so we can, so we can um, use variables in here. And then command dot js. Okay, so now let's add semicolons. Now let's run the file. File dot run. Client message arcs. Okay.
Okay, and then I think that's it for that line. And now we're going to catch uh, any errors that we might have. Catch, and then, oops, catch error. Um, let's open up some brackets and let's warn that error so that our bot does not crash. Console.warn and then the error. So, um, after that, you're just going to type in the very last thing, client.login, and then config.token. So, you're going to log in with this token that is right here. So, let's add our, um, our semicolon, and now let's go edit the ping command. So, um, now, let's go to our ping command in commands. And let us start getting into the code. So, let me check something really quick. Okay, so now we're going to type in exports.run. And then, hold up. Is this correct? I think it is. Let me just check if it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Exports.run is equal to async so that we can use await commands and stuff like that in every single one of our codes. Client message args, and now we are going to do our little async arrow, open up some brackets, and now message dot channel dot send, and we're going to send our ping. So, um, your current ping is at a whopping and then this is where we're going to be putting our variable. So instead of quotation marks, put the backticks. So if you still if you still don't know um, where the backticks are, they're right next to the one, the number one on your keyboard. And this will allow you to um, define variables in here. And a whopping, and then dollar sign, and then brackets, and we're going to name it client dot ws not ping, and then. Um, you can either put ms or ping. I like putting ping, but, um, I usually do ms. Um, and boom. So now that should be it. Let me try and save this, and let's run our terminal. I really hope that none of the frames got, um, lagged out or anything. Hold up, let me do something. My computer needs to charge. Okay, if frames went out for a bit, then it's because my computer is garbage. But, um, yeah, let's wait for this to load, and we can try out our new commands. This is taking a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, finally. Okay, so now to start up your bot, you're going to type in node space dot. This is taking so long to load, and you're going to hit enter. Let's see if we get any errors. I don't think we'll get any. Yep, I am online and ready to listen to commands. So let's go to our Discord. So now let's go to our test server. I hate my computer so much. Okay, so now, yeah, it's online, and we can try our ping command. So type in your prefix ping, and it should send. Your current ping is at a whopping 85 ping. If you want to make it look cooler, you can go here. Um, and put a slash, and then, there we go, let's save this. Um, let's try this again, new terminal. Okay. And let's try this again. Yeah, and now it's sort of formatted. If you don't want it like that, then you don't have to do that. Um, and, yeah, I think... I'm, I might do a lot of these videos today because I have all my resources and I don't really want to wait. Um, so I might do warn or um, just some simple things before warn and mute and so on. Um, so yeah, this is goodbye. 
Again, if you have any problems, go to my support server, Joey's Joke, um, and I will try and help you with your problems. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Um, like, I, I actually lost, like, a bunch of subscribers. I don't know why, but I did. And, um... Yeah, I think that's it. Don't forget to like as well if you didn't enjoy. It. If you didn't enjoy, dislike. Uh, leave a hate comment. And yeah, bye. Oops, wrong tab. Bye. <laughs>